My name is Brian Mooney. I'm farming in Kill County Waterford. Um, we've got, at the moment, 220 dairy cows. Um, hopefully, might go another bit more. <laughs> we have around 250 acres and uh, we have a spring calving base system. I suppose why I purchased a monitoring system was uh, that like every farm in Ireland since uh, quotas have uh, been abolished that uh, herds have increased maybe two or three times <laughs> much and uh, we'd be pretty much the same as that and uh, for the same amount of labour units working on the farm I suppose so just felt that uh, we needed an extra hand. I plan to increase the herd but I'd like to increase the herd without um, any negative effects on health or well-being of the animals. The new depth cow control uh, I felt was the best health monitoring and heat detection that I can integrate with um, the drafting system later on down the road. NEDAP uh, drafting system automatically drafts the cows in heat or the sick cows, so that is a very good part of their system. Like For heat detection, I just check the phone uh, before milk in the morning and same in the evening. Um, for the health monitoring system, um, well, that contacts me itself, like um, I don't really have to be checking animals or so it just it notifies me itself that if there's anything wrong. So even last night uh, I got a notification at nine o'clock in the night um, that a cow was off farm and uh, so I went out and checked her and yeah she was off farm but uh, brought her in and uh, treated her for grass tetany. Um, now I don't know if she ever had grass tetany or not but this morning like, she's 100% going around again and maybe otherwise I could have a cow down in the field this morning, maybe a dead cow or whatever, but uh, so <laughs> that was a good, good sign with the machine, like you know. With the system, I was just able to put it up on my phone and show the vet like what the cow was ruminating or eating the last 24 hours and everything. So the information with that was even helping the vet to make a decision on an animal as well. Like before, we used to just tail paint cows and. Tail painting on this farm was near impossible because uh, you'd go out in the field, watch cows in the night or something, and they all pile around you or they get, expect to get moved or something like that. And uh, it's just it was a very hard job to monitor cows without this system. Now, just monitoring cows on the phone, really. Um, it is very accurate. Like, uh, you can see cows turning up 21 days or whatever after the last time, things like that. So, like, it's. Uh, it's, it's, it's good, like, it's, it's very good. Like, yeah. What I expect from the NIDA cow monitoring system is that I'd be able to move to 100% AI. Um, stock bulls, it's, it's dangerous moving around and having enough of them on the farm and things like that. So you just, um, yeah, and maybe tighter calf and pattern as well. Yeah. I thought mo most people are buying the systems maybe for heat detection and that, but. Uh, yeah, like it's, it, it does that. It does what it says on the tin. But the monitoring of the health is like it's 100 percent. Like it's picking out everything. Like you know, you just it's like just having another person just to watch the cows. Like you watch them yourself, but when the herds are so big now, like you're going to miss things. Like you're, you're just not going to see everything. So you just need an extra hand. It's it's not how it changes it. It's, it's how it keeps things the same. Like the farm is changing, the farm is getting bigger. You want to be able to stay the same, not, not get busier, not get uh, more labour units. That's, that's my experience of it.